Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8 And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. And Revelation chapter 5 verse 5 says, But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. I believe that this verse in Revelation is a word that you and I need to hold on to. And we need to receive this word because I believe that when it says do not weep, the Bible is telling us stop your worrying, cease your sorrowing, do not be cast down, do not be in despair, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. In other words, the lion of the tribe of Judah has overcome, he has come out on top, he has triumphed, he has conquered, and this is what we need to receive and understand, Jesus Christ, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed. He has mastered all things. He has won all battles. He is in command. He is victorious and he reigns. And you should be joyful, because it's in him, it's in Jesus, that we as children of God have our protection. One commentary says the following, Christ may be compared to a lion because of his great strength, he being the mighty God, the able saviour and strong redeemer and protector of his church and people and the avenger of their enemies. And because of his courage and bravery, when he engaged with Satan and his principalities and powers. And so it's with this understanding, an understanding of who Jesus Christ is as our protector, as a strong redeemer, as an able saviour and a mighty God. It's with the understanding that Jesus Christ is our place of safety that we should pray. Now join me and lift your faith as we pray for protection. My God, Jehovah, if you are my refuge, if you are my fortress, then all that I can ever need, all that I can ever desire, can surely be found in you. You are a God who has proved himself throughout the ages. You have proved yourself to neither be weak nor mortal. You, Lord, are not unstable like man. You are neither fickle nor false. It's in your hands, Lord, that I can place my life, because I know that in you there is no danger of me being disappointed. Just as your word says in the book of Psalms, Father, I too say that the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. I praise you, Lord, because no one can challenge you. You are a God without equal. You are unrivaled and unmatched. I declare and decree Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 6 over my life, that I will be blessed in my coming in, 
and I will be blessed in my going out, because you watch over me. I declare Psalm 91 verse 10 over my life and over my family, that no harm will overtake me, no disaster will come near my tent, no evil will befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. I stand today in faith, covered by the power that's in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. I stand today concealed and wrapped by the blood of Jesus, which is miraculous and able to defeat all evil. I stand here today shielded and protected by the Holy Ghost. You, Lord Jesus, are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. I pray that you defeat every demon from hell that is sent by the enemy to try and attack me or discourage me. I pray that you disarm every unclean spirit that seeks to creep into my house all my life. I pray that you destroy every generational curse, every negative word that has ever been spoken against me. May you render it useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today that your presence surrounds me. I pray that your angels surround me. I pray that your Holy Spirit will surround me, so that no evil will touch me or my family because of you, Lord. I trust that you will protect me from the terror by night and from the arrow that flies by day. It's in you, Heavenly Father, that I find every good thing. It's in you that I have protection and preservation of life. It's in you, Lord, that I find safety. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54, the Apostle Paul said, O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labour is not in vain in the Lord. May all the glory be unto you, Lord, because I have victory in Jesus Christ. You, Lord Jesus, have overcome. You have come out on top and you have triumphed. You have conquered and I am filled with great joy, because all power and all victory belongs to you, my Lord. So help me to have faith, faith that is steadfast and immovable, faith that is made strong. My Saviour will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. My Saviour covers me with his feathers, and under his wings I take refuge. His truth is my shield and buckler. It's because of my Saviour, Jesus Christ, that I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. I bless your name, Lord, for your word and your promises are everlasting. I bless your name for setting your love upon me, and so I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your protection in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing this prayer.
Amen.